Hey Avid Max Fly Tires and welcome to an Avid Max Tying Tuesday. My name is Brady Lair and today we're tying a hot butted yellow sally for you. Tying this on a Tiemco hook. This is the 2302. It's a great terrestrial stone fly topwater hook with a good 1x long profile. I'm using a UTC 70 denier thread on this pattern today in the yellow color to match the body of our fly. And then we're going to tie in our first material, which is the Unifloss in red. I just have a small hank here that I'm going to sure secure on the hook shank. I have to wet it because I don't want it to fray on me like it's trying to do there. And we'll just secure that in and walk it back a little bit past the barb to where our hot spot is going to be. So right about like so, and then we'll go ahead and cover that up. Making our body, which we're gonna dub over as well. And we'll come on back to where we want that hot spot to end and go ahead and half hitch to hold our thread in that position. From there, we can go ahead and wrap just a couple of times the uni floss to create that hot butt section. This is a good imitation for a yellow sally that might have an egg sac on it. Coming down to lay its eggs on the water. It's a nice easy meal for a hungry trout. Capture that with our tying thread and secure it in place. Nice and snug there. We can clip out that excess. From there, we're going to start to dub, cover up that loose strand there, dub our body forward, and use some low tack swax along with a super fine dubbing in yellow to create this body. Not too chunky, just a nice taper forward. Great summertime bug when those yellow, yellow sallies are active. Definitely something to take advantage of. In the right timing. tight W noodle and then we'll start our way forward here like I mentioned just creating that taper as you go adding a little 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 bit of dubbing at a time Next material we're going to tie in is just a little bit of bleached L care. Classic wing material. Used on many different flies for good reason. We're just going to take a small hank and stack it real quick in our hair stacker. Get those tips nice and aligned. And any squiggly looking fibers as well. So left with just a nice stacked wing here. And we're going to measure right to where that egg sac ends as the length of our wing. We can transfer that in our fingers as a tie-in point here. So we can cinch it on down and then we're going to go ahead and cover up that flared L care. Nice base for our 
head here. And we'll come on back where we're going to attach our hackle. For the hackle, I'm using kind of a lighter color today, which is great for the Yellow Sallies. This is the Golden Badger color from Whiting Farms. It's great because it has a nice black line through it, which helps creating excellent segmentation. So I went ahead and prepped my feather, give myself a nice clean tie-in point there. And we'll secure that to the side of the shank. Just like so, just see it there. And then we'll come down back to where that hair is and go ahead and dub out our head. Use the same super fine yellow dubbing. Does seem like the fish when these things come around tend to get super aggressive. Makes for a fun day on the water when you get to fish this fly mimicking what's going on around you. So we'll just dub ourselves a nice head as I mentioned, creating a base to wrap that hackle forward. Not sure really who created this fly originally, if anybody out there knows, would love to understand it as well, so drop a comment for us. Fill us in. Go ahead and do a half hitch so we can bring that hackle forward. And then we'll wrap that hackle. So we do one wrap right on top of itself to get going and then we can do just slight open polymers forward. Giving this fly a nice leggy feel. And then we'll capture that off. here. Sneak a couple in front of it there. And then we can go ahead and give it a whip finish. Really not too much to the fly. It's an excellent dry fly to fill your box with in the right moment you're going to want to have them. There's a nice hot butt yellow Sally. <laughs> 